Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ralph, and today is Saturday, June 7th, 2014. What I wanted to do is spend a little bit of time about never ever giving up. I know you folks see me on Facebook all the time, and I'm always giving inspirational quotes and emphasize the fact that you should never ever give up. Um, but I figure by going on to this video and showing uh, you a, a few reasons why I don't give up, uh, matter of fact, 10 top reasons that I kind of live by daily, uh, I wanted to share this with you. Um, number one is learning from your mistakes. We all are human, we all make mistakes. Uh, the thing is, is we need to learn. Um, I took a lot, a lot longer than most people to learn from my mistakes. I still make mistakes, however, um, mistakes can be avoided, uh, but we need to look at the mistake we made and we need to uh, go from there and uh, try to not repeat those mistakes because uh, mistakes repeatedly done are not mistakes, then they are actually planned and uh, we, we continuously do them and it's not the right thing to do. Um, Number two is uh, no regrets to worry about it. We, uh, we cannot regret everything that we've done in our past. We need to move on. We need to look for tomorrow. We need to live today and tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we, we make mistakes and we worry about them, but we cannot change them. So we need to move on and we need to look for tomorrow. We need to face our fears. My biggest fear in life um, and as you folks all know that I am a veteran from the Marine Corps and you know they say Marines don't have fears but my biggest fear is alcohol I don't like to see it I don't like to smell it why because I crave for it even as a recovering alcoholic almost a year now this month I still fear alcohol I don't uh, uh, fear that I'm weak where I'm going to drink it however it is uh, it is a fear um, that I do have, uh, but I take that fear and I use it uh, to help me daily by helping you folks, by talking to you, by uh, posting on my webpage, www.clearviews.info, uh, and it does work for me. Number four is finding your inner strength, and my inner strength is my family, my wife in particular, Casey. She is my inner strength. Um, if it wasn't for my family, I'd probably be sitting in Manhattan on a curb, living out of a paper box, but uh, I do desire something a lot more than alcohol, and that is my family, my wife, my children, my grandchildren. That is, that is my cure. That is my rehab. Number five, five is gaining experience. You know, when I first started talking to you folks on Facebook, I didn't have a lot of experience expressing my feelings about how I feel about my alcoholism, about my addiction. But each and every day, as we go further into the future, I find it very much easier. Because I'm not alone. There are millions. Matter of fact, probably somebody viewing this video right now is an alcoholic or addicted to some sort of drug. The thing is, is you have to come clean with yourself. And then you need to go out and let people know about your addiction. It's not something to be embarrassed over. It, it's, it's something that a lot of people have. We all have it. Number six is I encourage optimism. I want people to feel enthusiastic about if they do have an addiction that it's curable. It's uh, something you can live with. Um, my way of doing it is by daily posting, daily talking about it. My webpage, again, www.clearviews.info. If you go on there, you'll see tons of stuff, videos, articles, games, just uh, fun, fun stuff. Uh, my addiction uh, is exposed to the public. <laughs> hey, I'm on Facebook. Day one, I went on Facebook and I told everybody about it. And if you read some of my comments on my webpage, you'll see people are like, wow. You make it sound so easy to go out and just expose that you're addicted to alcohol, but um, I'm not ashamed of it. I, I realize it's something that's in me, but I can fight it, and I do fight it. Um, another number is number seven, and that is being different from those who did quit. Um, 
quitters never win and winners never quit. That is the motto of my grandson's uh, karate classes that they would uh, kind of say at the end. And it's so true. I am a winner. And what makes me a winner is not how much money I have. It's not what type of car we drive or what kind of furniture we have. What makes me a winner is that I was able to look at my addiction straight head on and say, you're not going to take my life over. I will beat you. And each and every day, I do beat it. I will win, and I will never, ever, ever give up. I will never quit. Um, what also makes uh, quitting any addiction, whether being alcohol or drugs, is the fact that every day when you wake up, you can remember those memories from a long, long time ago. So number eight is continuously think about those memories. Isn't it great to wake up at five, six in the morning and say, oh my God, my head doesn't hurt, my eyes aren't spinning, and you know what? I remember exactly what I did yesterday and last week and last year. But of course, as we get older, we seem to forget a lot more from more than maybe a couple weeks ago. But can you imagine being on drugs or alcohol and trying to remember all these good memories that it took this many years to create and just throw them into a bottle, into a glass, into your lungs? No, thank you. Don't ever, ever give up. Then, number nine is alcohol addiction and drug addiction, addiction will not define me. I define me. My capability of fighting it is how I'm going to beat it. Is, is That's what's going to define me. So make sure that you don't let anything or anyone define you. God defined you originally, and you just enhanced and ran with that and continuously defined you. But do not let any substance, any liquid, any sort of addiction or drug define you. And number 10 is my best. I mean, it really is my favorite. And the reason I said best is because the best is yet to come. Today is a new day. Let today be a sober day for a clear tomorrow. Never ever give up each and every time. If you do have some sort of craving for it, think of the positive things in your life. Stay away from negative people, negative drugs, negative alcohol, because there is no positive drugs, no positive alcohol. There only is negativity involved if you abuse any drug or alcohol. Sure, there are some drugs that we have to take for high blood pressure, cholesterol, and all that. But those are prescribed by a doctor, and they're not meant for anything other than helping. At any other drug off the street, any alcohol in the liquor shop, if you have any sort of problem with alcohol or drugs, stay away from it. And, and I always say, never, ever, ever give up. A sober today makes a clear tomorrow. Thank you, and have a great day.